Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making video. Today I have got a set of six acetate overlay quick cards using the Simon Says Stamp April 2023 card kit. In the kit, you get the awesome Tim Holtz Ideology transparent layers, and I am only using a fraction of them for my cards. You could make so many more by just incorporating a few supplies from your stash. Speaking of supplies from your stash, I am going to pull some of my favorite Simon Says Stamp dies to use with the cardstock and pattern papers, as well as the transparencies from the kit. You can see here that I have some basic rectangles, domed arches, and the postage stamp dies, as well as some greetings. We're gonna be using greetings that are all birthday themed with the let's celebrate, it's your birthday, and happy birthday. Simon Says Stamp has so many different birthday themed dies, so you could really use anything here. I've die cut all of my sentiments from the Simon Says Stamp Gold Matte Mirror Cardstock, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together the cards. I have about two of each style here. The pattern paper included in the kit is this beautiful collection of the Moda Scrap Spring Poppies, and I love this pattern paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. So the first couple of cards we are going to create today are probably what I would call the most time consuming isn't even quite the right thing, but maybe the most layers perhaps. And I have got one of the acetate transparencies, some white cardstock from the kit, both die cut with the domed arches, and then also using two domed arches to create a frame from the slate gray cardstock included in the kit. We're going to put together the centerpiece for both design, and it is made up again of white cardstock, that frame, and then the acetate. Now, if I had been thinking, I wouldn't have die cut the acetate. Um, I kind of changed my mind part way through. So what I did to adhere the acetate transparency to my cardstock was I put a little bit of glue down, wiped it down with my finger. You could do something with a paintbrush or something if you don't want to get your fingers messy, just to really flatten it out. And then I placed the transparency in place. Also from my stash, I did grab some of this May Arts twine. It is still available at Simon Says Stamp. I've had my roll of this twine forever and it comes in so handy. So I wanted to kind of wrap a little bit of this twine around, tie it into a bow. I'll secure it to the front of the frame with a little glue underneath the knot. But then to make the panel lay flat against the pattern paper background that I've trimmed to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, I will place some foam adhesive on the back kind of um, framing up, I guess, if you will, the twine, just encasing it. So there's gonna be some below and some above. And this is gonna be the same for both of these cards, um, even though the sentiments aren't going to be placed in exactly the same place. I'm going to be popping up this frame then on the pattern paper. The pattern papers are so beautiful and I think they just complement these transparencies perfectly. This is my favorite foam adhesive from Simon Says Stamp. Look how easy the backing paper pulls off. I could not love that more. We're going to then center our domed arch panel right on our background. And I've left my ends long, but now I can go ahead and trim those down put a little glue right underneath the knot, and then I love to use acrylic blocks to help hold things down and hold them flat while the glue dries. I have three layers for each sentiment to give the sentiment a little bit more of a dimensional look, and this is going to be for every sentiment on all six cards. I die cut the sentiment twice from white cardstock 
and once from the gold matte cardstock. So we will finish with the gold matte on top, glue that sentiment together, and then pop it in place. Also from my stash, I am using the Tiny Words Birthday Stamp Set, which is one of my go-to absolute favorite stamp sets for birthday greetings. And any of the Tiny Words stamp sets from Simon Says Stamp are my absolute favorite. They just seem to work with everything. You could also use the sentiments included in the kit if they work with the sentiment you add to your card. Like most of the cards I create here on my channel, you can really use um, any type of greeting for these cards. So if you need sympathy or wedding or friendship or thinking of you, whatever the case may be, these cards could be turned into any occasion. I needed some birthday cards and so that is what I am making today. I've stamped several greetings on some of the white card stock using black ink, and then I will die cut them with the Sentiment Labels dies, which as you guys probably know, are some of my all time favorite, most often used dies. In fact, I don't ever even put them away. I keep them on this paw magnet right underneath my work desk in my studio so that they are always at arm's reach. I will be lining up the sentiment, running it through the die cutting machine, and then I will simply pop the sentiment out, line up the other end, and run it through again to get perfectly die cut sentiment strips. So now I have both of my backgrounds put together. I did both of these cards exactly the same, so I cut that out of the video. And now I am going to pop up my sentiment strips with some of the provided foam adhesive included in the kit. I love these little thin adhesive strips. They're my absolute favorite. And so they work great for all the little sentiment strips or anything thin that you have to secure to your card with foam. I'm going to pop up both greetings and you can see the placement for the different elements is different on each just to kind of go with the theme of that acetate transparency a little bit better. These are so beautiful and it gives you the most stunning results. The only thing left to do is to add a few of the gold sequins also from the April card kit and I will use an embellishment wand and a little liquid glue to pop them in place. I love these little triangle trays from Simon Says Stamp as they hold and contain all of the embellishments perfectly. And then you can funnel them right back in to the storage bag or container of your choice. All of my cards will be adhered to white top fold card bases from Simon Says Stamp and these cards are so fast to create. I love finding creative ways to use pre-made items for stunning cards. So let's go ahead and add the sequence to the second card before we work on the two rainbow themed birthday designs. And again, I'm only going to put together one on camera since they are the same, but the transparencies or the acetate, I think they're called transparency overlays, right? are very, very similar. I should probably tell you. Yeah, transparent layers is what Tim calls them. I loved these. I very much broke down the components from the transparency layer package into like items, which you probably noticed with those first two cards and then these cards, because I really love to, to do that. For whatever reason, when I'm working with pre-mades, I tend to break things out like that and then make multiple cards. I've trimmed down the pattern paper from the kit to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I picked the two black and white pattern papers and we are simply going to secure our rainbow design. So there's like the little rainbow swatches in the little swipe and then the circle. And we're going to secure those right over the background. And then for the frame to hide the edges of the transparency layer, I'm using a basic rectangle and then that postage stamp die. And I die cut those together to create a frame. All very basic dies 
used today. So definitely shop your stash, see what kind of great basics you have in your stash that you can use because I love to do that when I am card making is to just find those great basics and then you end up with these beautiful cards. I am using the happy birthday here and again two layers of white cardstock, one of gold uh, matte cardstock. We're going to adhere this in the center, add a sentiment strip with foam adhesive right above and finish with a scattering of the gold sequins in the kit. These cards couldn't be any easier, but I really wanted the beautiful rainbow backgrounds to take center stage. Sometimes you don't even have to add all of that much to a card to get a beautiful design. Now, because the transparency is slick when you add the glue, just make sure that you get your greeting lined up. And I am using those acrylic blocks as ways to hold everything down and hold it flat while the glue dries. And then I will simply position my greetings. I feel like right up above here is the perfect little spot. And I did pick different greetings for each card just to keep it fun. Little dabs of glue. Now, one thing I did different that I, that I didn't do on the first card is on the largest sequins, I'm layering. So I'm going to layer the smallest flat sequin on top of the biggest flat sequin. That is something very simple and easy that you can do that adds just a little bit of added interest. You could even do this with a contrasting color of sequin if you have some other ones in your stash. Then I will glue these two panels to white top fold card bases as well. And here's a look at both of those finished cards. Last, I loved the circles in the kit. One of my favorite things to do with basic shape or circ shapes that aren't rectangles, I guess I should say, is to have them hang off the side of the panel. I used one of the basic rectangle dies to die cut the background pattern papers, the, the pink tone on tone, and then the very, um, the green vine one, they're both very muted, so I felt like they would add a little something to the background but not take away from the beautiful circular transparency. And then the circle die set I'm using here is the Hero Arts Nesting Circle Dies. This die set in my stash had the circles that matched the size of the transparency perfectly. And you might wonder why my frame, which was created with two of the circle dies, doesn't go all the way around. So I die cut the white cardstock the same size as the transparency. Then I use that size and one uh, like two smaller than that um, to make the frame. And the reason it doesn't go all the way around is because I used leftover scraps of that slate gray cardstock that I used for the postage stamp card, so the inside rectangle from that, to die cut my circle. And I knew it was gonna hang off the side already, so I didn't think it would be a big deal if I went ahead and just let it um, not be a full circle. Just a great way to use up scraps if you don't have a complete cardstock piece. We're again going to use the same happy birthday and let's celebrate greetings that you've seen before to add to the center of this transparency piece. So even though I'm not using, I guess, the full circle, I love this little circular element on these cards. It just is an added interest to the design. And these are so beautiful. There's even some others in here that I didn't get to in that transparency layers package that are so much fun. Really love these. Um, there's, I think, let's see, there's one other circle that looks like a dial. There's some beautiful butterflies and a couple other florals and then like some trees transparency layer that I didn't get to. All in all, there's 12 pieces. So I used six of the 12. I only used half of the package. Again, we're gonna use our acrylic blocks to hold that down in place. Now, these backgrounds are a little different than the previous background because they are slightly smaller 
than the A2 size card. I did use a die to cut them down, but you could very easily just use a paper trimmer if you want to. And it's going to leave us with a beautiful, nice white border all the way around our card design that I think just ties in nicely to the white background back behind our transparency. I used the white cardstock behind the transparency because I wanted to see all of the beautiful scripty text and florals and I really wanted that to be a focal point. Again, I'm going to finish with a scattering of the flat sequins in the kit, layering the small ones on the largest size and I will do the same thing for the other for the uh, other card background. The only difference with the other card is that the circle is going to hang off the other side. I felt like that looked a little bit better with the greeting that I picked. And here you can see that beautiful, nice, wide white border all the way around. Here's a look at all six of my finished cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of six cards featuring the Simon Says Stamp April 2023 card kit. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content. You'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.